by what is that behind? It's colder. Mm -hmm. It's cooler. And so, so when you cover these, so the water vapor has to condense. Mm -hmm. It's going to condense the underside of the paper. But when you condense, it will return to the form of water, right? Mm -hmm. And therefore, it has to return the energy back. If operation take away energy, condensation has to return the energy. Mm -hmm. Because it's opposite. You're going to return the same liquid form, right? Yep. Where does the energy go? It has to be converted back to the heat. So which is why it heat up the underside. Okay, but, but okay, so which is why it warms up. How much it warms up? It warms up by about, you know, in a typical, you know, in a lab, we, we do it typically warms up by two degrees in the winter when it's dry. I, I don't know in the humidity of this room, but mm -hmm. it depends on the humidity. If it's humid, that means that. Um, two, that de two degrees? Celsius or Fahrenheit? What? Sorry? Celsius or Fahrenheit? Uh, it doesn't matter, one or two degrees. You know, either way. So, okay. It's just some kind of warming anyway. So, okay. so, so, so what, is, what is happening is that, um, um, okay, even, let, let me, I think I have to run, run back to, to or the original evaporation. Even the evapora uh, evaporation like this, you know, what happens here is that the evapor evaporation rate is going to be fixed. Uh, you know, you get more weight waters evaporate, but you also have vapors in the air, and mm -hmm. they, they want to go back to the cup, so you, so mm -hmm. you kind of reach, you know, so it's never one way. Mm -hmm. So you have a more molecules that are going out, and more molecules that are going in, just because you have more waters in the cup, so therefore you have more water coming out. And then you stop this, and then water can't go back, so therefore there's only one. Um, uh, the, so therefore it condensed to the underside. So now what happens when you shift this? Okay, before you, before you, before you, before we talk about what happens when you shift this, you know, I want to say, you know, we didn't do this, but imagine that you let these papers sit for a while, let's mm -hmm. say five minutes, and the pattern will disappear because you have a water start to condense to you, right? Then you're going to have a thick, a thin layers of water molecules, mm. and 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 water has to come out from that. They have, they have to evaporate this way. Mm -hmm. Because once you condense to the underside, and there will be water coming out from there. But you have a, you have more vapors coming in, and you have also have vapors coming out. When the incoming rate is the same, with the outgoing, then you see the temperature is the same. Okay. As right. inbuilt. So you, you, if you keep this, keep you know, keep the paper in this position for five minutes, and you come back, you see there's no heating anymore. Okay. So now if you shift this by one inch, you're going to break, and that's what we call dynamic equilibrium. Things go, you know. mm -hmm. If you is you break the equilibrium because the, the dry area now are in above the water, so it's started condensation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Start the condensation, it starts to heat up. And the underside, which is already has a layer of water more, it starts to evaporate. They got, they got swapped out of the air and then you break the equilibrium, they, are, they have to come out. So they, yep. you got evaporated cooling. And why is it I mean though? It's business as a user. So you don't see any heating or cooling. Right. Okay, that's pretty cool, huh? Mm. Okay, now I ask you this question: How many, how many, how many molecules are we talking about that cause this effect? It, it turns out there are only twenty nanometers per second. Okay, twenty nanometers per second. Okay, if you guys, if you guys know this, how small is a, a, a nanometer, and how, you know, how, how, how. How, how long is a circuit to a molecule? Mm -hmm. A circuit to a molecule is like 100 million years to us. <laughs> it's a long, long time for a molecule. Mm -hmm. And so, which means that really, this is really minuscule. It's teeny, teeny, you can't feel it, right? Mm -hmm. If you touch it and try to feel it, it's really moisture, you can't feel it. But it's this teeny amount of molecule is enough to cause the temperature raised by one or two degrees centigrade. That is clearly visible, microscopically. Because we can see under mm -hmm. the camera, we don't need to go to have a you know you know super powerful microscope to see the, mm -hmm. the but this is the effect from nano scale. Okay. Uh, it's, that is why that is the magic I'm going to convey. And how do I know it? Because I have a scale in my lab. I, mean, I just put these things on the scale mm -hmm. and I measure how much water I lose over 24 hours. Yep. And then and then I did a mass, so obviously. How big is this area? How small is the mole water molecule? Mm -hmm. And I did a mass, it turns out the evaporation, evaporation rate is only 20 nanometers per second. That's pretty amazing. Hmm. Uh, even I think either 20 nanometers or 20 water molecules lining up. And about the same. Same. So hmm. imagine how small the molecule is, water molecule is. 
Yeah, but only 20 little meters, yeah. 20 white bears lining up back to back. Yeah, Every second, they give the water, the mm. paper, and they're enough to cause this thing to increase by two degrees. It's amazing. In my opinion, okay? <laughs> so, well, my, my storyline is really, you know, the good yeah. thing mm. to do a nano science experiment. You just do these. Yes, right. And use, uh, uh, by, the way, by the way, you can't do these using a small okay. Why? Because if, yeah, you know they do a thermometer, you know, <laughs> stick a thermometer, like Mooney has a thermometer, right? Like, yeah. And you, by the time you test students to wear stick the thermometers, you already lose the fight because you kind of in private. Oh, you have to put the thermometer right here so you can see this. Mm -hmm. But the infrared camera, it can know something. And the pattern will just emerge. Uh, you're going? Yes. Okay. Nice meeting you all. Um, see you. Bye. Yeah, I really wear it. So it's a beautiful experiment. Actually, it's a nice. Um, a kind of like a capstone to um, to the to the to the small energy experiments mm -hmm. because in this case the small energy is literally coming out from thin air um, yes. because it doesn't come from you don't you don't boil or something or you don't get an ice or mm -hmm. something it just comes from the air yeah and that's the potential energy the conversion of potential energy uh, the hydrogen bonds mm -hmm. among those molecules that is uh, that is causing these these temperature rising. And they, if you want to know something that's even more, as I say, this can, I get, this can last for two hours, but mm. I, there's something you guys can know, and if you want to try this, with, uh, actually, we can try it now. Uh, you know, you can just uh, drop a liquid water on a piece of paper, and you'll see by the time the water touches it, the edge will kind of spread out, right? The edge is always warm. Okay. And that's because the, the water molecule is, is going to form a hydrogen bond. So you mm -hmm. know what it is. With uh, with what with paper molecule, and during that process, the hydration process is going to release energy. Hmm. It's also a, a kind of not chemical reaction. Hydration is kind of chemical reaction, hmm. or not chemical. It depends on how you view. Um, yeah, you can do that. You see that, right? Yes, when we first drop it, yeah, it's, it's hot, but it's then hot. it forms then, cold then, areas, which is from the evaporation. Yeah, exactly. Side. And the first, uh, the, the initial phase is the chemical reaction, hydration. The, the once the water combined with the uh, cellulose molecules in the paper, they are going to use energy. And you can kind of see it spread out. In, uh, it's the orange edge that spread out. And of course, the paper experiment is some part of it, which is come from hydrogen bonding. And the initial contact is from the reaction of paper paper molecules with uh, water molecules, and, and that's a lot of energy as well, microscopically a lot of energy. So this is how sensitive this camera. Huh. The camera is. Um, in fact, this is uh, uh, the reason I did this. This was discovered by accident, by the way. And I discovered this, okay? 100 years ago, I could have my name and update, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but now it's not a big deal, you know? Now today is not a big deal. The reason I did this is because I was looking, I had the same mis kind of misconception like you guys. I was looking for, uh, I was trying to test how sensitive this camera could be. Mm -hmm. So I, I was looking for a persistent temperature gradient. They can provide me only one or two degree, two degree of temperature difference. And obviously, this guy is a, is a, is a stable, mm. <laughs> it's an right. improperly cooling source, and it's going to give me one or two degree, and I'm going to see, maybe I can use it. Mm -hmm. And I accidentally put a piece of paper on it. I, I was expecting to see it should cool down, right? <laughs> 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 but in fact, it warms up. That blew my mind. OK, now I'm asking you another question. And there were circumstances. This cup of water would cool down instead of heating up. Okay, so as Loki did, this can go on for two hours. But okay, long story short, if you put an ice cube into it, mm -hmm. and, and you, you know, in the middle of this, and then you put a piece of paper on it, and then you will see the one that is right above the ice cube is cool. And that's radiation. Mm -hmm. That's a, like an experiment yep. that you did. That's because, in that case, the radiation heat transfer overwhelms the condensation. Mm -hmm. So you can eat, and if I cool down, I can, if I put this in the, 